Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Detailed Recipes channel. Turkish Chicken Dunner Kebab will be made on coal fire in this video. How to prepare chicken dunner, marinade recipe, how to cook dunner kebab on coal, how to cut it, and how to serve it, you can watch it in detail. Frankly, since this is the 300th video, I wanted to prepare a special recipe, and I prepared a total of three videos linked to this video. Chicken dinner recipe, lavash and gobbit bread making for dinner, hot red sauce and white cold sauce recipes for dinner. As you know, chicken dinner, sold outside, is made with only chicken breast. All parts of the chicken will be used in this chicken dinner kebab. A total of 5 kilograms of boneless chicken meat was used. Cut off the wingtips with a knife. Cut off excess skin and dirty areas with a knife. This part of the video we can call the chicken opening stage. You need to open the chicken hole. You can buy it already opened, but chicken bones will be used for sauce making. Do not throw the bones in the trash. First remove the rib cage and mid skeleton, then check if there are small pieces and remove the thigh bones, remove the cartilaginous parts as well. Also remove arm bones. Prepare all the chickens boneless. Check the weight of the chicken you have prepared. If you know how many kilograms it is, you can easily know the salt setting. There is a total of 5 kilograms of chicken. In this case, 50 grams of salt is required. Keep that in mind. Divide the chickens you have opened wide into four parts. Open the breasts using a thin fillet knife. Opening two or three times. If the chicken breast is small, divide it in half. If the breast is a little big, divide it into three. Now that the chicken cutting and opening process is complete, we can start making marinating sauce. 5 grams of rock salt, these pink ones are Himalayan salt, the white ones are made in Turkey, 1 spoon of hot pepper paste, 2 small onions and 2 to 3 garlic. Tomato juice is used up to 5 spoons. Yogurt used up to 5 spoons. Optional 3 spoons of soy sauce. 3 tablespoons ground red pepper, slightly hot. Half a spoonful of black pepper. 1 spoon of thyme herb. 1 spoonful of cumin. Half a spoonful of garlic powder. Half a spoonful of wild thyme herb. First crush the rock salt in stone mortar and grind it into powder. Add half a spoonful of black pepper. Add one spoon of thyme herb. Add one spoon of crushed cumin. Add half a spoonful of garlic powder. Add half a spoonful of wild thyme herb and mash well. Crush the spices in a stone mortar in this way. You can understand the aromas of the spices from the fragrance. Add red pepper and mix, depending on the situation, it can be two or three spoons. 
Combine the ingredients in a large bowl, add the spices first, add the liquid ingredients and mix. If you have solid yogurt, you can dilute it a little and use it. Grate the onion and add it. Garlic powder was used too much, so the garlic was not added. Add onion juice mix and add crushed rock salt and mix. Add the mixture over the cut chicken and mix well. As you can see, the marinade should have this consistency. Ingredients to turn the chicken to fry in red color were added, and ingredients to give flavor were added. Chicken meat is placed neatly in a large container and kept in the refrigerator for about 18 hours. If you cannot wait, do it immediately and cook it doesn't matter. Turkish chicken dinner is usually made by waiting in sauce this way. The next day, the ingredients were prepared to raise the chicken dinner kebab over iron shish blades. Chopped cow fat. Normally this animal fat is used too much, but too much is used because chicken breast is dry. Dunner prepared here is made with whole chickens, i.e. chicken thigh and skins are fatty enough. And this will not be used more than animal fat. Those who have watched my previous videos already know that my domestic dunner kebab is small, this iron skewer is suitable for attaching dunner between 5 or 7 kilograms of maximum. While placing the chicken on a rotary iron skewer, you can cut and place the excess overflowing. Or prepare the dunner in this way and trim around it while cooking, if you follow the cooking and cutting phase, you will understand what I mean. This lamb fat and this oil will be cut in a round shape and attached to the dunner kebab if you have this oil. You can also apply it to the intermediate parts, it gives flavor. My friends, I can say with peace of mind, if anyone will say that this dunner did not happen, I have only one word to say, you do it, I watch it. We disassembled the front part of this previously used stove, the tube does not burn very strongly anyway, and we turned the stove into a coal furnace to make the dinner kebab more delicious, we had chrome plates, shelves were made in this way, and compartments were made where the coals could stand, compressed oak charcoal, which can burn for a long time, can be used as coal. So if you want, you can burn normal wood in these compartments, it doesn't matter, Burn the wood chunks and add the coals in a separate place to ignite the coals first. First, ignite 5-6 coals, then you can add on it and continue. After the coals ignite a little, you can proceed to the cooking phase of dinner kebab. We place the coals in this way and cover the back with iron plate so the heat will not go to the back and the temperature will be more at the front. I can tell for friends who are curious about the cooking part, it takes 1 to 2 hours to fry around the dinner kebab. I talked about shaping dunner kebab in stages while cooking and cutting, if you are going to give a square shape to the dunner kebab, cook it so that it is browned on four sides while cooking. When you repeat the same process a few times by cutting four sides while cutting, you will now have a square and smooth square shape. I prefer to give square shape to dinner kebab because it provides great convenience while cooking and cutting. 
if you make 30 kilograms of dinner and a little fat, it would be wrong to give it this shape. If you want to make kebab on coal fire, it is delicious, the minus is that you may have to deal with the ash of coal or something, you have to put up with it. Diner kebab prepared with 5 kilograms of chicken can easily feed 30 people. Turkey wants to have more fried chicken most people, when I worked in the kebab, or even want to come to the burned level, I do not know if these chickens are likely to be raw after two hours in front of this fire, they are very fried, very dry, I prefer that they are slightly fried, not dried, juicy kebab meat is always good. I guess it is a must to have a small kebab cooker to make diner kebab at home like this. Cook and cut and eat as you wish, and you can cut the surplus while white, pack and freeze after cooling, then take it out and consume it in the form of ready-to-eat food in a pan with butter. Now that we have finished the cooking and cutting phase, you can watch how the chicken dinner kebab is served with homemade bread and sauces. Primarily there are breads produced this way, called gobit bread. I will present you the making of gobit bread and lavash bread at the same time with this video, you can also find the link in the upper right corner. Adding red hot sauce enough to wet the bread and plenty of chicken diner meat, a spoonful of cold white sauce in the middle, then you can make the bread crispy without pressing it in the toaster. If you do not prefer it plain, you can add ingredients such as lettuce, tomato, onion, pickle. Add hot red sauce to lavash bread and cover completely with sauce, I will present you the preparation of red hot sauce and cold white sauce for dinner at the same time in this video, you can also find the link in the upper right corner. I prefer chicken dinner wrap most of the time, but the bread used in the wrap is not too thick, and the dinner meat should not be less, of course the price should be according to it. With its current price of chicken sold in Turkey diner wraps range between $1 or $2 per can say. You can ask any questions you have in mind, I always try to answer them, I would be happy if you do not refrain from liking and commenting on the video. 
As I said at the beginning, we have reached 300 recipe videos, I always tried to do the best, I recommend you to take a look at the recipes you have not watched, by entering the video section, thanks. We have come to the end of a detailed video recipe prepared for you, thanks to everyone who watched the videos from start to finish and supported me. See you again in a new video, goodbye.